And Uncle Bob, he couldn't be here, but he sure wanted to be. Because he keeps telling me, he keeps saying, you gotta get Rob Trimmy in there, you gotta get him. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, there's something about those quartets. It's very, very special. Very special part of my background, as you heard a little bit about there a minute ago. But, uh, and there's some really good information. Uh, you can read uh, stuff about Rod in here, so I'm not gonna repeat any of that. But um, I'm going to ask our uh, board member, Daryl Bledsoe, to come up. He represents the West Texas man. comes in here for Amarillo, Lubbock, and all the parts there, and say just a few words. I've been doing Rod for quite a few years, and he holds a special place in my heart because he's a bass. And what a bass. I told him earlier tonight, if there had not been a J.D. Sumner, he would be it. He can drop the bottom out. And uh, he's always been so gracious when he would come to West Texas. We'd book him in several places out there. And his groups were just exceptional. And the people didn't want to leave because they sang so well, just like they did tonight. Congratulations, Rod. This is an honor for me to be a part of this. All right. Come over, Joe. And uh, Rod, stand close here. I'm going to read like I do what it says on the plaque. There's something very special and unique about this particular plaque. Uh, I'm so glad to see me again. There you are, me right there. Uh, there's. There's a little added feature on this one. It's called the Calvin Wills Quartet Man Award. Because Bad Love and Quartets, something like I mentioned, is just so very, very special about that. And for over 40 years, you've been a quartet man. Uh, Texas Gospel Music Hall of Fame is proud to induct Rob Tremmy on September 28, 2019, the Calvin Wills Quartet Man Award for his contribution to gospel music for over 40 years. His commitment and talent to sing as a quartet man. His faithful service to the ongoing 